It started as a whisper, became a buzz, then a secret. The secret is out. This is where superstars are born. This is NXT. And what a great way to start us off. Now, don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoire. Lasting endurance and an insatiable appetite oh. to be number one. And this is one of those matches oh, where man. it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. to stumble here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty Ouch. of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he oh, wow. keeps it to a minimum. something to get back in this thing. Oh, nasty impact. And only Lurkin makes the cover. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Here he goes. Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. His shoulders are down. Digging deep for a kick out. Just needs to do more damage. Oh, he 
is this superstar going to do now? Uh -oh. Take a nap. He's losing his grip, Michael. He's starting to great job breaking the hold there. Good thing, too. That could have been ugly, Michael. Thunder a slam. Will this be enough? And done quickly kicks out. He showed up here tonight for a fight, and that's exactly what we. You're seeing. This might be it. Oh, my. What a strike. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Damn it. He's got the shoulders down. Digging deep for a kick out. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne still has some fight left, which means trouble for his opponent. Oh, what an up. the pace of a match quite like this guy going for X-Plex man what's he gonna do now gentlemen Pete Dunne might have this one all sewn up and the fight must go on yeah it's gonna take more than that WWE made history in 2017 with a tournament to crown the inaugural United Kingdom champion, which I was lucky enough to call in person. And in that tournament, this man, Pete Dunne, emerged as the next can't-miss superstar. Only look at his showing signs that it could be ending soon. I agree with what Michael was saying about Pete Dunne's performance in the UK Championship Tournament. If you didn't know him heading in, you sure as heck knew who he was coming out. I'll tell you one person who definitely knew who Pete Dunne was after coming. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. We're seeing two outstanding out. This one's over. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. I remember this part very well. Here is your winner, Pete Dunne. Big win here to start the show. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long. We got one-on-one -on -one action coming your way next. We have a real fan favorite versus a formidable opponent. You don't want to miss it. Despite his career still being in its infancy, I'd say both the team's has already compiled an impressive list of superstars he's turned back. He definitely has, Michael. And for me, I think I first realized Velveteen Dream was for real when he arrogantly stated he could beat Cassius Ono in 30 seconds at TakeOver Philadelphia. Oh, man, this is going to be great. As you guys mentioned, TakeOver Philadelphia was a bit of a showcase for Velveteen Dream. He actually did floor the knockout artist within 30 seconds, but... It wasn't until about 10 minutes later that Dream actually defeated Ono. That's pretty much the story of Velveteen Dream right there. He talks a big game and can even live up to it sometimes, but he may be just a tad overconfident. You gotta believe this one's over. He looks a bit off his game here. Wow. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Hey, you're gonna absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the terror, and he knows that. 
I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Beautiful technique. As we've seen countless times over the years, superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance, and I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that, firing it. NXT TakeOver Philadelphia. Yeah, and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career. Oh boy, he is rolling. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, the best part was watching Dream have his... Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Tiger Valley bomb. Two. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. Wow. Look at these two kicking it to the wall. There's absolutely no quit in them tonight. Keep your eye on this one. Thank you for choosing to spend your Wednesday night with us. We appreciate you choosing WWE. Look out! Oh, he's able to reverse it. Doesn't even see it. Oh, right to the face. Can he finish him off here? Velatine Dreams just getting overwhelmed. He goes for the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. He has him right where he wants him. Oh, no. Buenos noches. But can he follow up here? He's got him covered. Two, three. This singles contest has a victor. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. Man, this was great. Here is your winner, Cassius. And that's the win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. What a way to kick off the night. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. Hold on to your seats. We have singles action coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable opponent. Going to settle the score.
Byron Bianca Belair's earliest days here in WWE saw her steamroll over nearly everybody she stepped into the ring with. Everybody except Kyrie Sane. Yeah, Bianca has been quite dominant since her start in WWE, but her first loss came in the May Young Classic to the eventual winner, Kyrie Sane. Here we go, fellas. I've been looking forward to this one for Ouch. quite some time. We mentioned Bianca Belair has lost to Kyrie Sane in the Mae Young Classic. Normally, a competitor can take solace in a tournament loss when they're beaten by the eventual winner. But I don't think Belair saw that silver lining. Well, that's because celebrating a loss is foolish, Cole. I think it frustrated Belair because she was so close to taking out Sane. And had she done that, the rest of the tournament would have been a cakewalk for the EST of NXT. Impact. That's what you call a bad landing. It took less than a month for Kyrie Sane to immediately become one of WWE's top talents. And she did so by winning the first ever Mae Young Classic. Dominating shoulder tackle. Boom, what impact. She's starting to sweat a bit. But this certainly isn't something she can't come back from. Byron brought up Kyrie Sane's arrival as part of the Mae Young Classic. She joined the field featuring 32 of the best women competitors from around the globe and conquered some tough opposition to take home the trophy. In order to win the tournament, Sane beat some of the top NXT competitors, including Dakota Kai, Bianca Belair, future NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. So yeah, the Pirate Princess definitely earned that treasure. Bianca Belair there. Kyrie Sane has been called the Pirate Princess and is the name she's truly earned. Before stepping in the ring, she actually competed in yacht races. Look, I'll give you the princess part. Sane definitely became royalty when she won the Mae Young Classic. But just because she sails doesn't make Kyrie a pirate. She seems way too nice to swashbuckle, quite frankly. Arr. Corey debated the validity of Kyrie Sane's nickname, but I'm walking the plank for the Pirate Princess. She might have it. And look at the quickness by Sane. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. And here we go from behind. She is on fire. She got all of it there. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Look at this. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. She's looking at it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Taking on some moderate offense here. Going to need to start playing a little better defense. And a kick out. Not yet. This is not where she wants to be. Her hopes of winning this match may very well be in jeopardy. She's not looking so good here, guys. She's going to need to find a way to fend off some of this offense and quickly and this might very well be the turning point of this match unless of course she can come up with something big here she might have it this might be it oh my she has got to take advantage here and she's toying with her now 
Bianca Belair, big move coming. Final driver! She's back in full control now. Bianca Belair may have just ended this. Can she keep her down? The cover, and this one's history. What a win. How about another look at some of the highlights? Look at her go. Almost forgot about this one. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. And the first match of the night comes to an end in thrilling fact. The match we have next is going to be awesome. Stay where you are. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Who will reign supreme? Matchup about to get underway, and Corey, we have company. What on earth is this all about? This superstar has nothing to do with the matchup. Well, this superstar is an arch rival of one of the superstars in the ring, so I can understand this person uh, heading down here, I guess, to scout the matchup. Well, it's one thing to take a closer look. It's another to involve yourself in an opponent's business causing quite the distraction so far. Superstar better have eyes in the back of their head. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Beautiful technique. Oh, distance there. Looking for the win. He's definitely how to do that. I don't know, Michael, but do it right. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. the impact. sure this doesn't snowball out of oh, control. Man. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this guy and walk away completely unscathed. What a strike. sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. And Conor Gargano makes the cover. He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Not yet. This has been one heck of a matchup already. Whipped into the corner. And now words exchanged between the superstar in the ring and the superstar outside the ring. And Superstar inside better focus on the match at hand, not what's going on outside. 
And case in point right there, Corey, a right hand. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. Take more than that to keep him down. Gargano's full blade impact. Oh, it's over. This is Johnny Gargano's match. Cross base applied. I can't believe it, Michael. Can Sullivan actually pull through? Don't count him out yet. Oh, continuing to punish them. Can he do it here? And he kicks out. Gonna take more than that. Oh boy, he is rolling. WWE fans watching this match all around the world. That's just great execution. Oh boy. Boom. <laughs> Can he finish the job? Organo. Setting him up. Oh, one dart to the turnbuckle. That has got to be it. That one was even more impressive than the first time we saw it. Uh, going to the top. High risk. He goes for the cover. Real close. Too close for cover. Going to take more than that to keep Lars down. Nailed it. Incredible. Cross base applied. That should do it. Man, it's almost impossible to get out of that. No, he releases the holes. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Beautiful technique. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Extend your elbow. Oh, the old European uppercut. Can he score the pin? Uh, maybe. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. With all the damage done, you have to wonder how much more it'll take. What is over? Two! And he got a near fall out of it. Woo. We know it. Oh! Victory is on the horizon. Waist lift. Yeah, Ross. Buster! But I don't. And he goes for the pin. Sullivan takes it. Complete dominance. Now let's take another look at these guys in action. 
Oh, I can't believe this. And here's a last look at this one. Here is your winner, Lars Sullivan. Kicking off the night with an impressive victory. If that's the type of action we're going to get all night long, I can't wait to see the rest of the card unfold. Believe it or not, that's just the beginning, folks. Stay tuned for more great action. I had a feeling we would start this way. He's a man on a mission. Here we go. Let's find out. Not feeling the love for that superstar. Seems to be a lot of anger behind those words. Going to be hard getting into the arena with an eagle that big. Well, okay. What could this be about? Can't wait for this one. Let's see what he has to say. Not feeling the love for that superstar. Well, that's one way to approach it. Bad doesn't even begin to describe the blood between these superstars. Better not take anything for granted in this business. That's all I'm going to say.
Not making any friends, but not really concerned about it either. Feeling the love for that superstar. received and I for one can't wait man you can't fake passion like that well, I'm not sure if we can top that but we will do our best as we move along with our program